Hey everyone, welcome to another Teen Craft here at the library. Hey! <laughs> so today we are going to go ahead and we are going to make origami cranes. Now I know origami can be a bit tricky, so if you need some additional help, there's plenty of resources online. We will also post some instructions, some actual instructions you can follow along with in the description for this video. But today, all you're going to need from your kit is the origami paper we gave you. Now we gave you some really fancy origami paper like this. And we also gave you some book pages you can fold. Now, if you don't have the kit, you can just use any paper. You just need to make sure that the paper is square. Okay. Before we jump into that, though, let me tell you a little bit of some of the things happening here at the library. So, in the month of July, this Monday, we are having our Young League of Writers Zoom meeting. So, if you are a writer and you are doing the Fractured Fairy Tale Contest, you can come to that Zoom meeting. Just go to the teen page. With, if you go to, um, let's see, if you go to, if, I don't know if you can see it, but Madison Library or MadisonLive.org backslash teen slash or dash summer dash reading. And then you can go in and you can send, you can sign up for me to send you a Zoom invite. So this Monday is our Young League of Writers and we are going to talk about critique groups and how they work and um, finalize up our Fractured Fairy Tale. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Um, the Fractured Fairy Tale contest, the submissions are due on J July 27th and you will need to send those to me in an email. And you can find out all of this stuff on the website. And we also have Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is yeah. still going on. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sign up for the Dungeons and Dragons. And we also have um, Teen Anime Club. If you like teen anime, we have the second part of our art with Mina Nina. And that will happen on the 20th of this month. So I can send you an invite to that too if you're interested. If you're confused about how to get the invite, go ahead and just call the library at 208-356-3461 and then just ask to talk to Gina. If I'm not at my desk, leave a message and I will call you back and I will get you the Zoom invite to any of this stuff. We also have our teen book club this month, which is, we call it the Madison Bibliomaniacs <laughs> Teen Book Club. And we are meeting on July 27th at four o'clock and we will do that as a Zoom meeting too, but we have some fun Zoom games that we're gonna do. And you can just bring a book that you have been reading that has a fantastic world in it. So for some examples, we're someplace to, like Cinder has a fantastic world. What's another book? That Narnia, you like? Narnia, Lord of the Rings, we have Lord of the Rings. Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lots of fun books that you can read that have fantastic worlds. So anyway, okay, I think that's about it. And right. we're ready to get started. So all right, so we're gonna zoom in. You're gonna be able to see our hands primarily this week. So which and one am so I? So you are going to just need a single square of paper from your supply for this first one. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Now okay. we're gonna go ahead and start and we're gonna start with our base folds. The base folds are very simply, you're gonna want the non-fancy side. For me, it's a white side, so turn your paper over there, Gina. And for her, it's just a plain color. You want the non-fancy side face up. Now, if you're using plain double-sided paper, you can do that just fine, it doesn't matter which one. But what you're gonna start by doing is you wanna start by doing all your directional half folds. So that means you're gonna start by folding your paper in half, diagonally. So uh, we make a triangle. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and unfold it, flip it over, and follow that same crease to fold it the opposite way. Yep. This is going to make the other folds you do in the pattern a lot easier. Okay. So you should have this lovely directional fold. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the next corner to corner. So that's just going to be, again, just one way. Unfold it and do the other way. I'm a fingernail folder, so I like to crease mine a lot. Okay, so as of right now, you should have four lovely folds going crosswise across your paper. Now we're going to go ahead and do folding in half this way. 
And again, like I said, you want to be careful with these folds because they're going to lay the foundation for your entire thing. So be as precise as possible. But if you're not too precise, that's all right. You'll still be able to fold a fantastic paper crane. So this is a hot dog fold. Or hamburger. It's the same thing either way. <laughs> well, it turns it into a hot dog. <laughs> and then go ahead and reverse fold that as well. So now you should have a piece of paper folding that way. And lastly, turn it sideways and go ahead and do your next set of, your final set of base folds. Again, that's just folding it in half longwise. And unfolding it, folding it in half. All right. So now we have all our base folds. You should have this lovely, these lovely sections, little triangle sections, each one of them all the way around your paper, okay? So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold it in. So you're first gonna wanna fold it diagonal like this. Again, so just follow that. Make sure the nice fancy color side is facing out. You'll want the white or other color on the inside, but keep the fancy side facing out. So you're just folding it okay. straight in half along one of those creases. All right, okay. straight in half along the crease. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pick this section up. So keep this section on the table, pick this side up, Okay. And you're gonna to wanna to stick your finger inside of this flap and you're gonna to wanna to press down on that. It should form a nice square. Yep, exactly right. Yeah, like that. So there we go. Now we've got one nice square. Then go ahead and turn your design over. Okay. okay. You're gonna hold it down again and you should see your nice square you just made. And again, we're doing the exact same thing. Stick your finger inside of there and you should have this lovely little square of paper with flaps down here and it all tight at the top right there, okay? Okay. So now we're gonna be working. So turn it so that these flaps are facing you, okay? So the flaps should be facing you, the point should be facing away from you, okay? And you're gonna want to fold these so that they line up with this middle line here. So it'll be like this were facing you, you would do it right here like that, okay? Okay, so like this. Yep, so just part. grab. So uh, hold the facing you. Okay. And you want to grab this flap. This one fold, right here? Yep, and fold it up to the middle. Yep, the whole thing. The whole thing? Yep, so again, once okay. you're facing, it should go right there. Oh, I thought that See? when I saw your color, I was like, okay. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So you're still seeing the printed pretty side. Mm -hmm. And that's all you'll see from now on is the printed pretty side. We have trapped our white side or ugly side on the inside of the paper. Okay, so once you've got these two flaps like here, you're gonna go ahead and turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. And it'll be a little bit easier on this side because you've got the other side to kind of guide you. Again, you're just folding these into the middle line right here. And feel free to pause or rewind the video to go back and rewatch the step if you need to. So it looks like we're making a kite. Yep, exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, once you've got all these folds, you should have, like Gina said, a very nice kite shape. And it looks kind of like these. You're gonna go, then go ahead, and on one side, go ahead and undo those folds you just did, just the two of them. Okay? So you again, on one side, it's got the nice kite shape, and on the other side, it's got the square shape with these things folding up. Okay. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the flap here, and you're gonna wanna pull that straight up like this. Okay. And then these folds, if you see, you wanna fold these in to the center. Okay. And you're just gonna kinda walk them up. So, so you have, you're folding these into the center. Like this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to let these come together, this center point come together, like so. Ah. There we go. So now I'm okay. And you'll want to make sure this is nice and sharp. Okay. So this is probably the hardest step. So again, if you need to rewind and rewatch that, go ahead. It's just go ahead and, like I said, it's like this. You pull this up, push these in, bring them together. Okay, and it might take a couple tries. If you need to, use multiple sheets of paper until you can get this right. 
So the other we're side. Then gonna go ahead and do this on the other side. So it looks like a kite right now. Mm -hmm. We unfold those kite flaps. So it's the square again. Mm -hmm. And we're then going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. So again, we're just lifting that up, creasing these down and bringing it all together. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, so now you should have these two kind of leg-like things and these two kind of wing-like things on the other side of a triangle, okay? So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these leg-like things and we're gonna make them skinnier. We're simply gonna take this edge and we're gonna bring it into the center like so. So just into the center. Okay, like so that. your legs are on the left, or I mean on this side? I've got my legs on, on my that, right. That side, yep. okay. But you're just gonna bring your legs into the center like this. So it's gonna make them skinny. Yep. Exactly so. so. Yep, just like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. So on this on the back side or this side here? You're gonna do all four of these flaps. So you should have these four flaps on your legs. You're gonna do all four of them eventually. So once you've got your first two on one side, you're gonna go ahead and turn it over. doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay. So now you should have like a really skinny leg and once you do the other one, you have two really skinny legs. Okay. okay. And at this point, we're just about done. Okay. So now what you're going to do Gonna to want to kind of open it up like this so that you've got your two legs down here grab one of these wings and just hold it open like this okay. and then you're gonna take this bottom leg and you're just gonna fold it up and you'll notice at a certain point it catches you want to fold it as high as it'll go like that so it should be right flush with the bottom Okay. And then close that up, okay? just like you opened it. Just close that little section up. It might be kind of tricky with some of those papers and you might have to manipulate it. This is going to be our tail, okay? So again, we're gonna do that on the other side. So if you missed the first time, you can also do it on the other side. It's the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna fold this up. Or towards you, towards if you're holding you. it the way we are. Yep. And then you're going to go ahead and close that. Now what you sometimes have to do is you kind of just have to pinch this together, but that's all right. So you should have a shape that looks like this with two little horns coming off of it. Okay. Got that? Almost. Wait, 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 wait. So I yep. had that. Just pull it on up. Just pull it on up and put it in there. Yep. And then just close it up. Okay. It should be sticking out slightly. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point because what we're going to do, nope, just let it go. Just let it go? Yep, just let it go because what we're going to do now is we're going to grab one of these things. You're going to want to pinch the bottom, grab one of these things, and just gently pull out so that it's at a bit of an angle. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other side. Again, pinch the bottom, grab the thing, and just gently pull it out. Increase it on the bottom. So, okay. And then our final step is we're simply gonna take one of these ends and you're just gonna bend it down and pinch together for the head. So again, that's just grab it, pull down and pinch together. And that is our crane's head. And then you just let the wings unfold. Okay, I'm gonna do this one to pull down because my other one wasn't doing very well. There you go. Okay. And then just unfold the wings. And you have your finished paper crane. All right. Now, there is one additional thing. So, there is a story about folding a thousand paper cranes that if you fold a thousand paper cranes, you will be granted a wish. 
Um, traditionally, what people do is they will take these cranes and they will put them in strings like this, and they'll put 40 on a string. So if you want, you can also grab some string, or if you've got some leftover yarn from our other projects, and you can go ahead and you can string your crane simply by taking a needle, putting it and it's an embroidery needle that has a lot. And on the edges. bottom, yeah. yep, on the bottom of every crane, there's a little tiny hole. You're just going to stick your needle straight up through that hole and out the top of your crane. I missed a little, but it's all right. And there I have the first four of my 1,000 cranes for my wish. That's yours. <laughs> all right. Well, thank or, you very much for joining us. Or let me give you something else that you can do. Um, instead of holding all those cranes for yourself, what you could do, which would be, um, you could be a grant or a wish grantor, and you could write something on the inside of your paper, of uh, something that is, that you find nice about somebody. So I could say, William, you are so good at origami and then fold up my paper crane and then I could give it to him and that would be like giving him a wish or a compliment and then he would have a wish on the inside of his paper crane. Mm -hmm. So if you do that a thousand times, I can guarantee you that you will get a wish to come back to. All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to you guys joining us for our next craft. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Done.